Assalamu alaikum. Good morning to all. This is Amdas sir. Dear students, how are you? I hope uh, you are quite well by the grace of Almighty. And it's time for me to have the chance to take another class with you. And it's my personal pleasure to be continue with your class. As you know, due to coronavirus, uh, the classes of our college are already postponed. For this reason, we are continuing our classes through online, through Facebook page for your better flourishment in the academic progress. Because you know that uh, due to coronavirus, you don't think about, about the fact. Just think about your study, your progress, and stay your home and would be continuing your study. Because as a human being, we do not have any chance. We have nothing to do in this regard. Because it's not the problem of Bangladesh. You know that it's the global problem as well. And that's why I would like to request or suggest to all of you be concentrate on our YouTube channel and Facebook page to enjoy all the classes. Let's go our today's topics. You know that in my last two classes, I have talked about the right form of birth. The question number five from second paper, right form of birth. And similarly, today we are going to have the class non third with this chapter. And after this class, the fourth class will be held also for practicing class. And the last class, that means the fifth class with this chapter, I would like to di discuss the solving the previous board's questions. Now, as you know, in my previous two classes, I have already finished two LF rules. I repeat the line, two LF rules already. And for this reason, now we shall move on to our rules now, 13. And there are few important words are pre presented on the board. The first word is yesterday. The next word is ago. And the last word is long since. Not only that, we have another important word that is once. If we have these four words started, ago, long since, and the last one is once. I hope all of you have already known the answer that is first in indefinite. That means Subject plus perfect second form. That means first indefinite. I repeat the structure again. If we have these four words in any sentence, the answer of the right form of verbs is subject. That, that means we don't concentrate on subject because we have to concentrate on the verbs. On the verbs. That is, the second form of the bars will be our answer. And let's go an example here. Suppose, Here the example is given for you. Suppose once there live a sorry an old man. Look at that. The birth is given for you live. What will be the answer? Whenever we have the word once, once that means once. If we have these four words in any sentence, our answer is the second form. That means lead. Second form means. The first form of the verb. Second form means the first form of the verb. Okay. I hope by having an example or by observing an example, we all students have already learned about the rules. Let's go and next example that is 14. There are a few words. The first word is head better. The next word is had rather. The third word is 
would better the last word is would rather okay what's happen if we have before the verb or after the verb or in a sentence these four words the first one had better had rather would better would rather remember that don't forget that if we have these four words in any sentence the right form of verb the correct form of verb is the base form that means verb is prathom form okay let's go an example suppose i had take the plus suppose here is the example is given for you i had better take the plus the the verb is take and before the verb we have the got the word had better whenever we have got the word had better had rather would better would rather the answer is best form that means the answer do not change or cannot change the answer does not change sorry do not does not change or cannot change that means a is our answer okay let's we shall focus on the rules number 15 that is okay and here is just like the same way the two basic words or two most familiar or famous word does or did but remember that don't forget that i would like to request to all the student does did from this rules the one question in all the boards may prescribe in one question in every year so whenever we have got the word does or did in before the verb the verb is base form the verb is base form base form means the present form of the verbs okay suppose he cricket concentrate on the example you know that he did not play cricket okay here is the bar is given for you for answer play and before the play we have got the word did whenever we have got before the word the words did or does our answer is best form that means the answer will not change play this is our answer and let's we go the next rules of today's class i no more rules left so i no more rules left uh, don't board the class just try to enjoy the class okay so number the rules ki ache i would like to give you the four words the first word is by the next word is without and the third word is after and the last word is before and from this rules if we observe the previous questions uh, we have already we have already seen that uh, every year one questions are set up from this rules so be concentrate on the rules if we have these four words by without after before our verb is b plus ing b plus ing is our answer okay here is the example suppose
you will pass in the exam i repeat the example by in the bracket we have got the question is read more you will pass in the exam don't change the bengali meaning of the sentence just try to maintain the rules that is prescribed already on the board let's go read before the read we have what the word by whenever we have got by without after before before the word the bath is ba plus ing that means the read will reading and reading is our by adding with ba ing we have got our answer let's go the next source that would be presented on the board for you There is the three words. The first word is each. The next word is every, and the last word is one of. Okay. Our answer is but singular. Okay. Then there is the exam. Yes, three words. Each, every, one of. Okay. Whenever we have got these three words in sentence, the verb is singular. The verb, the answer will be singular. Let's have example. Suppose. everybody in the bracket the the question is look flower here is the example everybody the the word love and before love before verb we have got every whenever we have got each every one of your answer is singular that is loves third person singular number means s or yes we will add loves singular means we have to add with the verb s or yes okay rules now 18 the most common rule the word while subject plus was or verb plus ing or verb plus ing Uh, concentrate on the word if we have the word while there have two things or two grammatical format the first one is whenever we have got subject we have to use was or were ba plus ing but if we don't have in the sentence subject we just ba plus ing that means if the subject is mentioned in the passage or sentence we have to use was or if the se sentence is without subject we just have to use ba plus ing let's go an example he went to me why Here is the example. He went to me. Why? So whenever we have got the word while, look at that. Whenever we have got the word while, and after the while, 
if we have the subject if we have the subject then our answer is was or were ba plus ing that means i was or were was ba plus ing read would be reading reading okay look at that if the subject is not mentioned that means i is not mentioned in the sentence you will not write was that is the answers and for your better understanding i would like to uh, prescribe with you the basic rules the most common or most familiar rules for of right form of verbs okay and just like to go to the finish and before finish my today's class i would like to give you the last rules of right form of verbs and that is whenever we have got a sentence and on that sentence the universal truth remain in the sentence our answer is present indefinite our answer is present indefinite that means s yes othoba base form okay universal truth chirantan satya Let's go an example. Suppose the sun rises east. The sun rises on the east, and from the very beginning of the world, no one has got the chance, no one has the ability to change. this rise on the west on the south on the north okay it would be on the east of okay that means here we have got shudyo purbo dike uthe that means the sentence is kirantan satya universal truth and for this reason our answer is present indefinite if the sentence is present indefinite tense we have to think about whether we will add as or yes or not is depend on subject if the subject is third person singular number the sun yes third person singular number and that's why our answer is rises okay and i would like to request to all of you uh you have already taken the three classes of right form verb with maintaining rules and next time i would like to practice a few more sentences as well and inshallah if you practice more and more and write it down on your exercise books then you will able to pick up your ultimate goal from right from above uh, let's go today's homework and today's today's homework i would like to give you from your first first year syllabus first of us syllabus the topic is with clause with clause there are few words the first is dhaka words 17 kumila word 16 rashahi word 17 borishal word 17 and the last one is silet 16 as you know for your first year finance syllabus we have already given you suggestion with clause from with clause there are uh, more important with clause are given here for for your homework the first one is dhaka about 17 kumila about 16 rashi about 17 borishal about 17 and the last one is silet 16 you have to uh, concentrate on this your home homework though you don't serious about the homework but i will serious and much more serious than you so inshallah 
you will pick up your real variety and you will pick up all those things and you will prepare your assignment as well and whenever uh, your class will open then we will take it from you and uh, that's not more or no more today today's class i just like to finish our today's class that's in from today's class thank you all